Hi everybody, today we're going to focus on social studies together and we're going to take a look at landforms and water. So ways that our earth is different. So some of the land is um, like hilly or flat. Some of the land is divided by water or land that is covered by water. So we're going to take a look at some, some examples together. So a landform is a specific feature on the surface of the earth. Mountains, valleys, islands, all of these are landforms. Let's find out a little bit more. Here we have a picture of a mountain. A mountain is the highest kind of landform. This is a picture of a forest. A forest is a large area of land that is covered by trees. Here we have an island. An island is an area of land, but it has water on all sides. So land with water all around it. This is a photo of plains. Plains are flat land. We see in this picture, the road is between hills. We see a hill on the left and a hill on the right. A hill is a landform that rises above the land around it. Here is the Gulf. Specifically, this is a picture of the Gulf of Mexico. If you've ever been to some of these places down south in Florida or in Alabama, Gulf Shores, those areas, Panama City, the water that you get into, the, what you think is the ocean, is actually the Gulf of Mexico. The Gulf is a large body of water that is partly surrounded by land. A peninsula is land that is surrounded on only three sides by water. So that's different from the island because the water, the island has water on all sides. But here the peninsula is connected to the to earth, to land on this side. Sorry, not to earth, but to land. Here is the land that it's connected to. But look, one, two, three sides are surrounded by water. This is a picture of a desert. A desert is a large, dry area of land. This is a valley. Notice that the valley is the area between hills. It's the low land between hills or mountains. Here's a look at a river. A river is a large stream of water that flows across the land. A lake is a body of water with land all around it. An ocean is a body of salt water that covers a large area. Let's practice together Oops. using our magazine. So here we go. Okay, friends, so you're going to try to guess the landform or the waterway that you see in the picture before I click on it. So let's first look at this dot right here. Look at this land. Notice that the land go, is down. It's a low area of land. So what do you think this landform is going to be? It's a valley. This area of low land is a valley. Let's take a look over here. I noticed that there are a lot of trees in this area. What landform do you think that this is going to be? That's right, it's a forest. Let's take a look at this waterway. Notice it's long and it's running between the land. That's right, it's a river. 
look right here. We're going to look at this dot. These are landforms that go up. That's right, it's a hill. But notice that a hill is not as tall as this landform. Remember, this is the landform that is the highest. This is called a mountain. Let's look at this area of land. This area of land looks really flat. It's a plain. Remember, plains are flat areas of land. Let's look at this picture of water. Right here, we see that the river runs into this area. There's land. This is a lake. Remember, a lake surrounds, I mean, the land surrounds the water, the land surrounds this area of water, so that means it's a lake. Let's look over here. What is this water way? This is the ocean. An ocean is a large body of water that's made up of salt water. Let's look right here. Notice that this piece of land has water on all sides. What do you think this landform is? It's an island. Remember that an island is different from this piece, this landform, because this landform is attached to land here, but it has water on three sides. That's right, it's a peninsula. This body, this waterway, it goes into the ocean, it connects to the ocean, but notice that it has some land around it. It's a gulf. And this dry area of land, it's a desert. So I have, hope you had fun guessing some of the landforms today. And I want you to go into Seesaw and complete the landforms activity.